Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be swatching out and comparing my raw sienna paints. Now raw sienna is usually made from PBR7, but as you can see here, only three of the six are a single pigment PBR7. Um, the other three all contain either PY43, which is a natural yellow iron oxide, or uh, PY42, which is the synthetic yellow iron oxide. Uh, both PY42 and 43 are usually the pigment you'd find in a yellow ochre. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. Uh, this is Rembrandt Raw Sienna, and it's made from PY43. As I said before, PY43 is more often the pigment you'd find in a yellow ochre. Um, not so much in the Raw Sienna, I don't think. Yeah, I do think this is a really lovely raw sienna color though. Um, yeah, beautiful granulation. Uh, so yeah, no problems there. Now, the only problem really is that it has this kind of weird gummy texture. Um, even letting it dry in a pan, it's still kind of, yeah, this strange, I don't know, maybe it's too much binder. Yeah, just feels odd to me. Of course, it could be just that I got, you know, a dodgy tube, I don't know. Um, yeah, what are your experiences? If you find it gummy with a strange texture, let me know. Okay, next up is Holbein Raw Sienna. Uh, this is made from PBR7 and PY42. So that's a mix of an earth brown and an earth yellow. Yeah, it looks beautiful to me. It doesn't have that gummy texture that the Rembrandt has, so that's one good thing. Yeah, I see some nice granulation going on there too. Yeah, I think this one is a really good paint actually, um, especially if you like your raw sienna to be more on the yellow side. And next we have Windsor Newton Raw Sienna. Uh, this one is made from PY42 and PR101. Yeah, it's a very nice paint to paint out, as all Windsor Newton are. Though I do feel it might be a little bit too yellow. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I do like it, but compared to the previous two, it's it's not that impressive really. Um, plus, I don't see any granulation there. Yeah, I kind of feel it's missing something like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as earthy as the previous two. Okay, next up is Da Vinci Raw Sienna. And this one is made from PBR7. So right away, it feels more brown and earthy to me. Yeah, this one's very nice, I think. Yeah, as usual, the Da Vinci's are, are really nice to paint out. Um, this one, yeah, it doesn't seem to granulate either. Um, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, next we have Daniel Smith Raw Sienna. This is also PBR7. Now this one disperses beautifully when it touches the wet paper. I mean, that's kind of normal for Daniel Smith paints. Yeah, and the granulation is beautiful too. Um, but, yeah, it does seem a bit orange to my eye. Yeah. Again, it paints out beautifully. Um, yeah, it's, 
It's a beautiful paint, but I'm not sure I like it as a raw sienna. Do you know what I mean? It just, yeah, too orange for me. Okay, and finally we have Lucas Raw Sienna, and this one is also PBR7. Wow, right away you can see a huge difference in this one. I mean, this paint does disperse nicely when it hits the wet paper. I wasn't really expecting that from the Lucas. Yeah, again, it's a lovely paint, but for me, it's just the wrong color. Um, I feel it's closer to a raw umber than a raw sienna. What do you think? Okay, so now they're all swatched out. And here they are when completely dry. So what do you think of them all? I've got to say, I'm quite amazed at just how different a raw sienna can be. Um, I kind of always thought of it as like a slightly redder, more transparent yellow ochre. But yeah, clearly it can be many different things. Um, the Windsor & Newton is definitely the most yellow, I'd say. Uh, I still can't decide if I like it or not. Um, yeah. Well, the Lucas is clearly the most brown. Um, I can imagine painting these two side by side. You know, you'd never guess they were named the same. I do like both the Da Vinci and the Daniel Smith, but for me, they're a little bit too orange because I, I kind of like to use a raw sienna as the main yellow on my palette. Um, and I also like to mix greens with it. So I'd prefer my raw sienna to be a bit more on the yellow side. So I'd say my favorite here is probably the Holbein. Um, I think it's a great compromise, you know, brown earthiness of the PBR7 and the yellow of the PY42. Um, I also love the color of the Rembrandt, but it's just not very nice to paint with. So which here is your favorite? Are there any other brands of raw sienna you love and would recommend? Let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.